All right, good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. Go <laughs> we're, on the, we're on the floor of the New York Stock Some Exchange. Good pictures today. Great pictures. On Twitter. Jim Kramer is here. Jim, let's start with the banks. Of course, Bank of America yeah, look, and Wells It doesn't Fargo. matter right now what they report. Uh, people decide to sell the banks. Uh, Bank of America was absolutely perfect. It, it had just this consistent great growth. Uh, City had one line that was wrong, credit card. Uh, the loss is a little elevated, but they make a lot of money on credit cards. Uh, JP Morgan was pristine, nobody seemed to care. Uh, uh, Wells, not that good, not a lot of growth. You know, you're, they're paying the price, I think. Uh, but this is a group that people don't want. And, and what they want is FANG. They don't want health care because they're all trying to figure out the executive order. Now, Obama kept those subsidies alive with executive orders, so Trump takes them away with executive orders. So, uh, UNH down really badly. Centene, one of my favorite companies, trying to figure out what to do with it. So you've got healthcare on, on, on the run, and you've got banks, people fleeing, and they are reverting to FANG, and, and that's not what I like. So we got to see if the banks can put uh, get some footing, but they don't have it yet. Well, and we'll go on to FANG in a moment. But as you write a real money, you know, you shouldn't necessarily go crazy if the if the banks sell off, even when they well, had I mean, a good quarter. I think that the banks have run a lot. I think that there's a sense that. Uh, this is the peak. Now, you get in four rate hikes, Bank of America gets $3 billion more than it's currently making. I don't know any company that can tack on $3 billion in profit just because of some entity raising rates. There were no loan losses to speak of of any size in Bank of America. It is a bank that has done so much digitizing. The technology is fantastic. Uh, but the stock ran for 25. So people say, oh, let's not ring the register. I, you want to circle back to these, not yet. And a piece I wrote was basically about don't take your cue from the sellers. Mm. Go do the work. If you do the work, you'll know that these banks had really terrific quarters. And I've spoken to the CEOs of every single one of them. I feel very good about it. When I do circle back to these banks, if I'm going to buy B of A or WFC on a yield curve play, wouldn't I want B of A just because they don't have this scandal in the background? Like well, B of A is, uh, is the nation's bank now, and the deposit base is huge, and they're the biggest winner when it comes to raising rates. We like Citi because Citi's uh, just trading a little bit above tangible book value, and the company's returning more capital than any other bank. Uh, Citi, if you don't own it yet for action alerts, you're, you're going to want to buy it on Tuesday. Uh, why Tuesday? Because when you see the selling like this, at this level of selling, what you really need to know is that means that there's a gigantic amount to sell. And when there's a gigantic amount, what you have to do is you have to wait till the selling's over. Uh, I don't ever let people come in and, and buy falling knives. All right, you mentioned FANG earlier. It's interesting, Alphabet, Amazon back above $1,000 a share, even with all this negative publicity around yeah, FANG. Yeah, well, look, it, these are companies that are where you buy something. So it's the point of sale. Uh, increasingly, the point of sale is really the only place you can reach the consumer, particularly the millennial and the Gen X, because they don't go to the store like the people my age. Uh, and I think that what you're recognizing is the advertisers, Ben Odor is far ahead of everybody, the Clorox advertiser, putting 45% of his stuff on the web. Uh, now, it, what happens is you're trying to inspire brand loyalty. But it's really hard to instill, instill brand loyalty unless you talk about sustainability. That's why Unilever, by the way, has such brand loyalty uh, because Paul Pullman's so committed to it. But what, what's happened is, is that the store is no longer the point of sale. The web is. And that's why these stocks are going higher. So when I see these negative headlines about, you know, Amazon and Facebook and Congress, just that's... Well, look, a, I mean, if they were passed show. legislation that would hurt, that hurt their earnings per share, then I would be concerned. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see anything hurting the earnings per share. When the Justice Department went over uh, after Microsoft, it was clearly going to hurt the earnings per share. Uh, these kinds of investigations will not do that. All right, staying with FANG, uh, Netflix getting a price target raise at Goldman and J.P. Morgan. Yeah, everybody's raising it because they have to. I mean, this is one of those things where their principal uh, revenue source is your monthly payment. And I think, you know, there's something going on here. I'm just going to I'm just going to give you the dichotomy. Mm -hmm. Your cable bill's really high, and your Netflix bill's really low. Uh, and if you're strapped for capital, and you're just starting a house, uh, just starting a household, the cable bill is too high, and the Netflix bill is reasonable. So you may not attach the cable. And that's what is really hurting people at the cable companies. Mm. That a Netflix, which has quality programming, and if you don't need a uh, sports program at that minute, although here, you know, we get lots of sports programming yeah. here, then what you do is you say, listen, I'm not gonna hire, you know, hook up cable. I'll pay 10 bucks for Netflix, and I'll get the entertainment that I need, and I'll get my, I'll download my video games, 
Uh, and, and so a person who's frugal has alternatives. And I think that this is a revolution that's occurring, uh, that people want to watch original programming that is uh, very not sponsorable because it is so uh, violent or because it is so obscene or because of the, the strong language. And, and that's what people respect and want. And I think that they've turned on traditional programming other than if they want to watch it on Hulu. Mm. So it, it is just a major secular change, which is that Netflix is a lot cheaper than your cable bill. Well, I'm glad you mentioned the cable companies. AT&T shares getting slammed. Well, that was right. I mean, they lost a lot of viewers and they're viewing, losing the viewers to Netflix. So you see ATT down and Netflix up and that makes perfect sense. Now AT&T has a good yield. I mean, what's your view of all these legacy media stocks? Well, I mean, I, I think that ATT is doing everything it can, uh, uh, but the reason why you would buy it is for the yield. And I always like to have a little bit more when it comes to buying a stock. Okay, meanwhile, uh, NVIDIA shares getting that price yeah, target rate. That won't go up. I mean, you know, NVIDIA's got giant sellers here. and. Uh, I actually want all these jokers shaken out. I mean, the, the piece, the Needham upgrade, the Needham ta target bump from 200 to 250 was very cogent. It wasn't about Bitcoin. It was about data centers and how good the data center business is. And that's true because uh, they pulled up with Jensen Wong, who is the genius who runs, uh, who, who runs the company. And NVIDIA is about uh, autonomous cars. It's about data center. It's about machine learning. And it's also about uh, learning itself, how to learn how to code, how to do things. And, and nobody else has anything like it. No one has anything like it for gaming. Uh, so, but the company's just got a $100 billion market cap. So there's always going to be churning. And if you notice, the stock can't get through this level. It had the same problem at 180 and it had it at 170. It has to churn and churn. So the traders in you should sell it. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to buy it back lower, and then you'll catch it again. And actuallers, you guys bought it at what, 160? We bought it well. Uh, you know, we did, you know, we bought Fang right. Yeah, it's a, it's a great holding for you Thank guys. You. I mean, look, the club has had some good ones and some bad ones. I always like to mention the bad ones. Uh, you know, at GE, I, I abject that that was wrong. I think Flannery's going to fix it. Uh, but he hasn't yet. Newell, we were able to sell some high, but Newell also was, was cratered by the uh, by the storms and, and uh, resin prices. And then Apache may be one of the worst stocks I've ever bought. And so I think I got to keep that front and center because that's where you learn. Mm -hmm. And I say these things not to, you know, it's very easy to say, okay, well, Kramer's an idiot. He bought Apache. I don't really care what you think. I, I don't play for dinner. I'm at the stage where I want to say, here's what I did wrong in Apache. I believe the hype. I forgot to figure out where the natural gas could be put because I thought there was pipe. And there's a glut of natural gas that of incredible proportions. All these things matter to being wrong on Apache. And that's how we learn, Jim. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, Barclays downgrading Ford. Ford shares getting hit. Yeah, look, I mean, the piece is about Mary Barr and GM being well ahead of Ford. I visited Ford's uh, really what I thought was state-of-the-art uh, autonomous driving vehicle. I guess it was well behind GM. I still think that Waymo uh, is the best by Alphabet, but you know Alphabet doesn't want to talk about it. Other than I got to drive them one, uh, and GM is about uh, they, they just the piece is about how maybe it should get as much credit as Tesla. Now, GM's been re-rated. It was in the 30s forever, and now it's in the 40s. Uh, analysts now getting behind it are going to have to deal with the ennui of buying a stock that's up this much. And you like GM versus Ford? Yes, definitely. GM's got, uh, uh, GM's very expensive stock. Okay, meanwhile, Jim, we'll end with uh, shares of PG&E getting hit from those California yeah, fires. Yeah, you know, I mean, whenever you see that you got to have your records preserved, uh, it scares people. Uh, obviously, if they're really involved in, at fault in some of these fires, the Public Utility Commission can take action against them. But I don't think the Public Utility Commission is going to take away the dividend or something like that. But, but the stock is under a lot of pressure because we don't know where it's going to lead. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll watch that one. And Jim, of course, we're coming off of that Eagles win last night, heading into a good weekend. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, the Eagles, uh, my hat's off to, uh, to Fletcher Cox, who was such a nice man, number 91, who came back. He's a beast. They had they were double and triple teaming him, so that let Vinnie Curry come in. Uh, there was a remark. Wentz is, it's third and Wentz. I mean, you know, third down, he's best in the league. Uh, the defense did not let any runs up. McCaffrey is very, McCaffrey's really good. So he was able to put some points on the board. But, but I do feel that, who's real? Okay, so let's go, Green Bay's real. They're absolutely real. Uh, 
obviously uh, Kansas City's real, and I think they're going to come out, and I think Kansas City's going to win the Super Bowl, uh, and deservedly so by Andy Reid. Uh, I, though, uh, you know, and I know the, the Eagles are real. Uh, and then, you know what, we're, you know, are the Falcons real? Not sure. Uh, the other guys are just Jags. I mean, we don't know. But there's, I mean, I, I, in fantasy, I picked up the, um, the Baltimore defense for the Slump and Dicka League because they're playing against the Bears. I mean, there's, Bears are so bad, the Vikings are bad, Cleveland's bad, San Francisco's bad. So you got a bad product. You know, the product's got too many bad teams. And I just named, I named one, I mean, I could name another five teams that are just bad to watch. But the Eagles are not one of them. Slump and Dickle. Slump and Dickle. Jim Kramer, have a great weekend. Thank, Thank you, you too, so Scott. much. For more information on the stocks Jim just mentioned, please head to thestreet.com.